Hello grade 6. In this video we are going to solve exercise 1 on the page 46 of the lesson adjacent angles and vertically opposite angles. So let's start. First, let's do a recall about the angles. The if the angle is 90 degree, so it's called a right angle. If the angle is 0 degrees, so it's called a null angle. If an angle is between 0 degree and 90 degrees, it's called an acute angle. If the angle equals 180 degrees, then it's called straight angle. If the angle is between a right angle and a straight angle, it's called an obtuse angle. So first exercise. Observe the figure below and then name acute angle, obtuse angle, straight, right and null angle. So we have to name acute angle, obtuse, straight, right, null. So if we remember that the acute angle is an angle which measures less than 90. Okay. So we are looking for acute angles. In this figure, here we have an acute angle and here we have an acute angle. So in this figure we have two acute angles. We can name, we see that O is the vertex of the angle. This angle, let's say it's angle A and this is angle B. Angle A is called M O N or N O M. Also, the angle B is called K-O-N or N-O-K. So we have two acute angles in this figure. Obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures greater or more than 90 degrees and less than 180. In this figure, we can see that we have here an obtuse angle this is let's see let's say it's number one and here we have the other obtuse angle let's denote it by two angle one is l o m or m o l angle two is l o k or k o l so we have these two angles straight angle a straight angle that measures 180 degrees it looks like a straight line so we have in this figure this angle which is equal to 180 degrees we can name it by L O N or N O L then we have to name a, a right angle a right angle is an angle that measures 90 degrees and there's only one right angle here which is MOK or KOM. A null angle. A null angle is an angle that measures 0 degrees. We have uh, more than one null angle. We could say that MOM is a right angle, NON is right angle uh, null angle sorry k o k is null angle and l o l is null angle so we have many null angles in this figure so m o m k o k and etc then we are asked to measure these angles the Part B give in degrees the measure of each angle above. So let's measure the angles using the protractor. As we said before, we should put the center of the protractor on the on the vertex of the angle. If we are measuring this angle, so we have to put the center on the vertex O. One of the sides should pass through zero. So as we see here, OK passing through 0 in blue color. Then we 
align the instrument to pass the line passes through zero and then we read where the other side passes as we see here the other line passing is passing through 60 so we can read that the measure of the angle is 60 degrees so this angle is 60 we can also measure this angle by tilting the protractor like this so that such that on is passing through 0 and the angle here is 30 degrees in fact these angles MON and NOK are two adjacent as we see here this angle and this angle they are adjacent angles since they have common vertex common side and they lie at either parts of their common side in addition we can say that they are adjacent and complementary why complementary angles since the sum of the two angles 30 plus 60 is 90 two angles where the sum of two angles is 90 we say that they are complementary angles so this angle is 60 and 30 now we have to measure the angle LOK we have to tilt the projector the protect protractor maybe in this way such that one of the sides is passing through the zero as we see here OL passing zero and then we read like this so we have reached here this is the 120 degrees so this angle is 120 degrees so the angle LOK measures 120 degrees we still have to measure the other angle we could compute it since we have LON is a straight angle then LO, uh, LOM the angle LOM equals 180 minus 30 degrees so 180 minus 30 is 50 degrees 150 degrees so this angle is 150 if somebody would like to to add all these angles so he should have 360 degrees so here we write the measure of each angle the null angle measures 0 right angle measures 90 straight angle measures 180 obtuse angle measures more than 90 and less than 180 acute angle measures between 0 and 90